It was a bright day that afternoon. Came across the rooftop. Didn't know what to expect. Saw three men running about. One pushing me around with some gun. I didn't know much. I was just a beat cop. All I knew was solving cases and booking baddies. My life was gonna change that day. I didn't know it yet though. He's getting shot at. Damn it, Jose! I'm supposed to watch my back, I yelled at him. I, I know that Jose was my deputy. He wasn't a cop and didn't have any experience. But I respected him, damn it. We grew up in the same beat down town, filled with crime and booking. We've been through a lot together, me and Jose. We knew these streets in and out. He didn't make the force, but I did. I kept him around for his street knowledge. He knew everything, every corner, like the back of his hand. Jose, we gotta get off this roof, I told him. Come on. We descended down below. Men looking out of their window as I fell. Damn it, Jose. Quit pushing. You always pull this shit, I told him. Jose fell, broke his ankle. He needed medical attention. I didn't know anything about medical attention. I was just a gumshoe detective. Booking baddies and solving crimes is all I knew about. One of them wanted to hire me. Jose. I just got an alert that he became a drug dealer. Damn it, Jose. You went no, to the dark side. We were brothers, Jose. We were brothers. He betrayed me. We made a pact when we were children to fight crime and we didn't want to become the evil that was in our little town. But Jose, the greed that gripped him into the darkness. Damn it, Jose. We were brothers. Jose betrayed me that day. I had to put him down. He was too far in the greed. I was never the same. That day changed my life. I couldn't trust another. If Jose could become so evil so quickly, couldn't all of us? I looked out into that blinding sun, contemplated my life. I was just... I was just a gumshoe detective. All I knew was about booking baddies and solving cases. I didn't know anything about becoming evil and contemplating life. There was a new man who came onto the force. His name was Buster. He was a greenhorn. Didn't know much. I had to show him the ropes. But first I had to find him. There he was. Buster! God damn it, get your shit together, man. You're new on the force and you're already sure. fucking up. I was a sergeant. I've been on the force for years at that time. Buster just came in. A fresh kid, a good kid, but he didn't have much knowledge or skill. He came from the military. War was too much for him. Had to come back. Wanted to serve. Became a police officer. Sounds about right. Let's go, Buster. We took him on patrol. Going around the street. Mayor Crunge was up for voting that year. Who knew what Crunge was looking for? I didn't believe with any of his politics, but he'd probably win. Stray hooligans always going around the area. Some weird Chinese lady on the ground looking at shit. Lady, what you doing? I yelled at her. She looked suspicious. Mama Crunge became a crook. It didn't look good for Crunge's mayorism. His mom was now a crook. How would he win the campaign with his mom in jail? Only Crunch knew. He seemed a little corrupted to me, to be honest. Kept on the beat path. It was a quiet day. Sun beating down. The water, stale and poorly rendered. The government didn't have an agenda. They never did. Another man came on the street. Nakashima. The hell you doing out here? When they let you out of jail? Nakashima was a good kid. He just had some problems. Filmed with the wrong crowd. Didn't know wrong from right. 
They pay your bail, Nakashima. You better not get involved with Mama Crunch. She's a crew. She's a crook. I warned him as he trotted away from me. We kept on the beat patrol. Searching for anything particular. Some strange man had a weapon. It was Crunch! Mama Crunch, drop the weapon! Mama Crunch was an infamous criminal, a crook. She had many arrests of attempted homicide, drug dealing, arms dealing, all kinds of messed up stuff. Drop the weapon, Crunch! I yelled at her. She kept firing in the air while wild and such. Buster, this is the real shit. This ain't training, I yelled at him. Shots were fired everywhere. Who knew who was shooting what? What was going there? We met up at the broken bridge by Bay Street. Crunch, put the weapon down! Crunch was getting ridiculous. Jumping all over. Getting closer to the cliff with every second. Don't jump, Crunch! Don't do it! I yelled as Crunch jumped into the canal head first. Crunch! I yelled at her. I knew Crunch was bad, but I didn't want her to die. I didn't want anyone to die. Somehow she survived. Swimming in the waters. Floating about. Damn it, Crunch. Got away again. Later that year, I had to go to the hospital. Old Mary was having a kid. My sister never really stuck down with one man at a time. But she had a couple kids. Damn it! Where the hell's Mary? Crunch! Crunch has to be behind us, I yelled out. Buster! We gotta get out there! Ran out into the street, found a Crunch. Where the hell was my sister? Only Crunch could know. Crunch, where are you? I shouted out into the distance, not knowing if she could hear me. God damn it, Crunch! You know my sister loves to crack rock! You tempted her! I screamed out. Crunch was nowhere to be found. Until I turned on Bay Street. Crunch! I yelled out, seeing her run. Probably pocket full of crack money. Crunch! I chased after her. Come on, Buster! She's going in the warehouse! We had to investigate. Crunch! Where's my sister? I yelled out, shooting five shots over her head. Crunch! I know you've been dealing her crack! Drop the weapon, Crunch! I had no choice. I had to take matters into my own hands. God damn it, Crunch! Crunch took me down. A shot to my knee blew me out. Buster got him. The kid finally learned. The kid finally learned. I was proud of him. But little did I know it was gonna go so sour in the future. I could only wait till then.